हेलो एवरीवन आई एम बैक विद द सेकंड वीडियो इन द सीरीज ऑफ पेरेंट्स एंड ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स पी प्रोग्राम 2022 टुडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट हाउ टू क्रिएट एन अकाउंट इन परमानेंट रेजिडेंस पोर्टल हाउ टू स्टार्ट द एप्लीकेशन एंड हाउ टू कंप्लीट आई एम एम ट्रिपल जीरो एट ऑनलाइन हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू कनेडियन क्रिजमा होप यू ऑल डूइंग ग्रेट एंड स्टेइंग सेफ If you are new here I provide information and free advice about Canadian immigration and help people to apply for Canada PR which can save them a lot of money without a further delay let's start today's video to create an account on permanent residence portal you need to come to this page of IRCC website i will leave the link in the description below so you can click on that and come to this page directly when you open this page just scroll down and click on create an account here you need to provide your valid email address which you want to use with ircc and then you need to create a password here is the criteria that what are the expectation while you are creating your password after creating the password just accept term and conditions and click on create account you will get a verification code in your given email just get that verification code and enter the verification code here and click on complete registration it will bring you back on the sign in page so here you can just see this message congratulations you have successfully created a new account just write your email address and password here and click on sign in to sign in into your account once you sign in to your account it will take you to this web page it's a home page for submit your permanent residence application just scroll down here it will explain you the process of the application you can go through if you want to otherwise i explained already in the previous video then go down so you can see two applications there one is for application for permanent resident and other is for renew the permanent resident card and travel document so we are looking for application for permanent resident scroll down and click on start new application it will take to you the next page of pr portal in this section you can complete the form upload your supporting document review your information and submit your application when you scroll down here you can see application status which is initiated already now you need to choose some program and categories in this section you need to select program under which you are applying so select the program first it's a family program category under which you are applying select the category here parents and grandparents so next is customize your application title here you can provide a name to your application so i selected just parents pr and click on continue this will take you on the next page here you can see application status initiated please complete the steps below when you go down here you can check this information that you chose family program parents and grandparents and your application name is parents application if you want to change anything here right now you can click on edit and change the information if everything is good just scroll down here they said before starting your application check your eligibility criteria we already checked it application guide which i am providing you document checklist we already been through the document checklist so let's go down again application forms so here are so many forms in this list we no need to complete all of them what you need to do you need to only submit the forms which is needed for parents and grandparents program we already discussed it in previous video so we know like which forms we need to complete first form is imm0008 this form must be completed by the principal applicant i mean if you are helping your parents you can do that so on behalf of the principal applicant you can fill out this form this form need to be completed online first let's have a look on the forms which must be completed by the principal applicant online as we talked about imm0008 this form must be completed online by the principal applicant the principal applicant dependent spouse or comala partner or any dependent children whether they are coming with them to canada or not must be declared on this form unless they are already a canadian citizen or permanent resident so this is only one form and in this form principal applicant need to add all the dependents 
whether they are coming to Canada or not. Rest three forms IMM 5669, IMM 5406, IMM 5562, they also need to be completed online. Online means you cannot download them, then complete them and upload. No, you have to start in the portal and complete there. It does not mean that you need to finish them in one sitting. You can complete as much as form you can, then save and log out. When you log in again, you can start that form again and you can edit any time when you want to edit any information there. The forms which need to be submitted by the sponsor, you can download that, that form on computer, complete them there and then you can upload in the portal. So these forms need to be completed online. Let's start with IMM 0008. So let's click on start. Here you can see they said before you get started you need to get some stuff ready like your passport and your national ID document because they are going to ask the number. But you can use your passport as a national ID document too if you want to or if you want to use your Aadhaar card or other national ID if you have you can use that too. So get your stuff ready and click on continue. First question is language preference for correspondence. You can choose English. You need you have to choose one of them English or French. For interview, you can choose any language because they will provide interpreter for that. So I will choose English here, but you can choose whatever language you want to hear. And then they said interpreter request. You do you need interpreter? If you choose different language here, you need to say yes, otherwise say no. Next question: where do you plan to live in Canada? You can choose province where your son daughter or grandson or granddaughter who is sponsoring you living you need to choose that province and that city here after this just click on save and continue next is your personal details so start with enter your full name means principal applicant full name again i told in my previous video that if you on your passport you have only given name then write the whole name like jack brown here and leave the given name blank if you have both surname like family name and given name on your passport then you can write as it is i wrote here provide the name here have you ever used any other name if you officially use any other name you can say yes and then provide that information here otherwise say no if you have any client id number so if you are immigrating first time you don't so just leave it blank and then physical characteristics you need to provide your gender and then eye color and then height in centimeter birth information date of birth place of birth means your city of birth and then country of birth then you need to provide the information about your citizenship like uh, you are a citizen of which country so like I choose here like choose your country if you have citizenship of more than one country you can choose second one here otherwise just choose one and leave other one blank current country of residence where you are living right now so it doesn't mean like you are if you are from India or uh, you are from China or you are from uh, UK that you are living in the same country right now if you are living somewhere else right now on different status on work visa on tourist visa or something then you can choose your country here country of residence here and then provide that why you are there you are student worker visitor what there but right now i am choosing the same india like my country of citizenship and country of residence same and i am a citizen of that country then previous country of residence during the past five years have you lived in any country other than your uh, residence country or your citizenship country so suppose i belong to india other than india and i'm living in canada right now and i need to apply like i'm a parent and um, i need to apply for that in that case other than canada and india if i lived anywhere more than six months then i need to say yes here and provide the information about these countries otherwise say no and go to the next question marital and relationship status you need to provide your status here you are married separated divorced whatever but i will choose married and then if you are married then you need to provide your date of marriage here provide the name of your current spouse and common law partner again the same rule applies to this uh, name you can just fill it that way have you previously been married or in common law relationship if you have been married before your current marriage then you need to say yes here and provide the information about your previous marriage or 
previous relationship otherwise say no and click on save and continue next is about your contact information so you need to provide your current mailing address here where you want your mail your post to come on and after that residential address same as mailing address they are asking if yes you can say yes if your residential address is not same as your mailing address you can click on no and provide your residential address here so i will say yes that it is same then provide your primary telephone number you can choose others here if you are not in canada or us then choose the type here like what kind of type you have residence cellular or business so i will choose cell here country code and provide the phone number after that alternative telephone number if you want to provide another number you can provide it here otherwise leave it blank same with the fax number you want to otherwise leave it blank and then they ask you do you want us to contact you using the email address used for this account when you created this account you used an email address you want to use that uh, to correspondence with you by the IRCC you can say yes or no but I would prefer to say yes and then click on save and continue here provide your passport information do you have valid passport or travel document say yes and then provide your passport number country of issue issue date and expiry date and click on save and continue next is national id document you do you have a national id document you can provide your passport information here as a national id document but if you have separate something you can provide that but i am giving my passport information here so same document number country of issue issue date and expiry date and click on save and continue next is educational or occupation details so here you need to choose the highest level of education of the principal applicant you can choose none if there is none then secondary or less and choose accordingly and then number of years here occupational information current occupation if they are working right now you can write that if suppose they have business you can write business person here agriculturist retired or whatever occupation they have right now you can write there intended occupation means what they want to do in future you can write unknown here and click on save and continue next language detail you need to provide your native language mother tongue here you can choose whatever you want i chose just hindi and are you able to communicate in english and or french if you can uh, or communicate in both you can say both one of them you can choose if you are able to communicate or you can choose neither so i will choose neither here have you taken our english test you can say yes or no i will choose no and click on save and continue you can choose your options accordingly on this page it is asking about dependence so if you have dependence on your file you can say yes or no accordingly if you are applying for both the parents then one of them is main applicant principal applicant and the other one is the dependent of the principal applicant in that case you need to say yes if you are applying for only single parent you will say no here and it will take you to completion of this form if you have any children with your parents who is dependent then you need to add another dependent that we can see later so just say yes if you are applying for both the parents here you need to click on add dependent so here it is asking about personal details of dependent so will this dependent accompanying the principal applicant to canada you need to say yes in case no then you need to say no and you need to provide the region here that why that a dependent is not coming with your with the principal applicant so i will say yes here and then what is the relationship to the principal applicant here i am choosing spouse but if you are adding another a dependent who is child or uh, child or step child or uh, adopted child you need to choose accordingly but i am talking about the both the parents right now that's why i choose spouse here and after that you need to provide the full information like we already entered whole information about principal applicant same you need to do all about the dependent now so family name given name remember if you have only given name then that name goes here and given name will be blank have you ever used any nickname say yes or no accordingly if you say yes you need to provide details leave the client id blank if you don't have anyone provide the physical characteristics birth information citizenship information country of residence if you ever lived um, more than 6 month in any country other than your citizenship and country of residence say yes and provide the information otherwise say no marital status you are married divorce whatever you can say married here 
date of marriage provide the name of the spouse means principal applicant's name will be here and then have you previously been married if yes you need to say yes and provide the information about that um, relationship otherwise say no and click on continue here provide the educational and occupation details about the spouse so choose accordingly highest level of education number of years current occupation attended occupation and click on continue here provide the information about language details so as you know native language are you able to communicate in any language just choose accordingly and tell about have you taken any tests yes or no and click on continue here provide the information about passport like do you have uh, the valid document passport is say yes provide the passport number country of issue date of issue and expiry date click on continue provide the information about national id documents of dependent provide that whole information as i told you previous click on save and continue so now the information about the dependent is done it is asking do you want to add another dependent click on that and you can go through all that questions again for the second dependent if you want to change something you can click on edit and you can do that if you want to just delete this dependent and you want to start it again you can do that too otherwise just click on complete and return to the application here you can see the application was successfully updated means your imm0008 is ready to submit it is done if you want to edit something you can click on edit and you can do that otherwise your form is completed you no need to sign this form by hand or uh, online because when you will submit the application it will ask you to sign the application electronically and it will cover the whole application i hope you have got all your answers about imm0008 i will be back with another video on imm1344 so don't forget to subscribe like and hit the bell icon thanks for watching